I'm so glad that you guys are here. Wow, Kitty is also really excited for Vlogmas, aren't you? She's like, no, let me down. I'm out of here. <laughs> guys I've got my helmet my hats tan warmers all the essentials it's negative 11 Celsius I think it's like 17 Fahrenheit um, so I'm just walking down to pick up my skis and my poles and I can ski out straight onto one of the corridors one of the slopes which is kind of cool so I'm gonna ski out and then go down and pick up my little ticket. And so it's gonna be fun. I think this is my dad up here. You ready to ski? You look ready to ski. Looking good with that helmet. We must not be going very far up if there's no seat cover harness thing. We're going to see that behind us. Mom was saying there's going to be nothing for me to do. Hey, so I seem to be lost. I think this is the trail I'm trying to find though. So I figured I would scale down this little bridge and see if I can get down there. I could put my skis on, but that's quite a big drop. But yeah, I wanted to show you this bridge. And there's these little um, seepage holes underneath. So if water is in the embankment, instead of building up pressure in the back of it, the water can spill out through those little PVC pipes. Um, so it's a, it's a geotech design, the bridge is a structural design, so lots of civil engineers. So I wanted to show you guys that and I'm going to head back to the condo and have lunch with my mom.
Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Hopefully you enjoyed this month and the Vlogmas. I'm wrapping it up today with my last piece of advice. Unless I hear from you guys that you want me to continue for another few days and finish out the rest of the month. But I wanted to leave you with some advice about what to do when you're graduating and looking for a job. Um, and what I, I tell a lot of people is make, make sure that you know what your online image is and that you can use your online image to benefit you by having a LinkedIn and a professional profile and something that you've worked at to display who you are. Um, a lot of people go in through their Facebook and they'll scrub things out. I, I know that um, folks that are younger than me that are graduating now, you guys are like on top of it when it comes to your social image and what you have out there. And a lot of you don't use Facebook anymore. So I'm, I, I'm not too worried about you having things out there that would make you look bad, but definitely use a LinkedIn profile to um, to have to bolster your resume, you put a little link to your LinkedIn on your resume. Um, I generally, anytime I get a resume from somebody, I go out to their LinkedIn anyway, just to see how they've got it set up and how many connections they have and if they've got any recommendations from people. So it's a good idea to ask somebody else to give you a recommendation. I, I know it can be a little bit awkward, but maybe it's like, hey, we're in this club together. Um, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you write me a recommendation and of course in the future if you need one I can also write you one. So talk to your mentors, your peers, people you go to school with, ask them to give you recommendations, um, build connections on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever with the people that you're in school with now because you're going to get a job and then at your, your job they're going to say hey we're going to hire somebody. Do you know anybody that you went to school with that's looking for a job? And you will be their eyes and ears into that college campus that you went to and be able to, um, to give your employers resumes for your friends or recommend your friends for jobs and positions in your company, which sometimes you get a benefit from it. Um, there'll be like a little bonus. And sometimes it's you just get to work with your friend. Um, so and. The people that you went to college with, you're going to see in the industry. The industry is not that big. Um, so you'll be on projects with them. They'll work on other com at other companies that you'll be partnering with, or they'll be your clients, or you'll be their client. Um, so make sure that you you stay connected online. Um, don't see social media as burdensome when it comes to looking for a job, use it to your advantage. So um, that is my advice for today. Um, make sure that you have a LinkedIn profile, that it's got a good picture, that it's pretty professional, and that you know what's out there and what people can Google and search. So put a little Google alert on your name so that you know what comes up if anything comes up. And yeah, I guess that's my advice. It's all about your LinkedIn profile today. Um, but it's, I mean, like I said, when I'm looking to hire somebody, I go to their LinkedIn and I check them out. And if they've got, we've got people in common, I might go and reach out to somebody who's in common with them. And it also gives me something to ask them about at, a, at an interview. Um, not that I really do the interviews, but if I'm like meeting somebody for coffee that we might want to hire, I'll be able to say like, hey, I saw you were in the tennis club. Um, that's super cool. Uh, um, yeah, and it, it gives a little, some talking points. So that's my advice for Vlogmas Day 25. I hope you enjoyed this month and you've enjoyed all of the Christmas stuff that I've done, the traveling around like crazy, the Stim Squad takeover, my Instagram, I did, um, I post, you know, I've been posting on my Instagram at noon every day. I posted a couple extra posts this week about skiing and I, I found a little bridge that had some seepage. Um, it's like little PVC pipes that, that stick out for seepage um, drains 
for the foundation of the bridge and so I have that on my Instagram that I just posted a little video on that so yeah let me know what type of content you guys want to see and thank you so much for joining me bye